All right, so qualifying just wrapped up. We are going to be joining the race as a spectator. This is the three hours of Monza for the uh, SimHQ Historics Endurance Series. So we'll see how this goes. Race one. Qualified towards the back of prototype, but we had some setup Sorry. issues going back and forward. What's that? What's that? Um, I would like to raise the uh, rear ARB to 19, though. Okay. So, yeah. so R40 with rear ARB at 19? 19, yeah. I'll go in and make that change, and then I'm going to join as a spectator. So is there uh, anything else? Uh, that's it. Okay. Get into it. we got 10 prototypes and only 6 uh, GTs, um, seems like, on qualifying for right now. I'm going to go ahead and hop into the server because we are actually going to get going with the uh, formation lap. And of course, my dad's going to be doing the first 90 minutes of this race. We will then do a driver swap in the middle of the race, and I will take on the second 90 minute portion. And we are going to be doing a formation lap. Kind of tough to coordinate the formation lap when we're starting staggered three wide. We'll be on those guys to kind of coordinate their positions. John going to be starting 8th out of 10 prototypes. Alright, our fearless pole sitter will lead us to the line. I believe we're going live at the start-finish line. We will peg it and the 3 hours of Monza will begin. Yep. And we are away. Already a huge gap for the lead. Yari and Connie. Connie looking to the inside. Turn one, lap one. Probably okay to hold off for a little bit. Do have some time. And John. Right on Jimmy. John looking to the inside of Jimmy. And he will move us up to seventh right off the bat. Huge lockup from sixth and seventh. John looking at 6th now. Started 8th, now in 7th. Nice group of 4 of them, look at them go. And on to the back straightaway. Let's go on board with John. Looking to the inside, looking to the inside. And there is some smoke and some stuff ahead. There's a car off to the gravel to the left. We got the 15 uh, drivers, active drivers, and the 15 active cars. Then you come down here to the spectators list here on the right, and these are all the second drivers we will be getting in the car later to finish the race. Jimmy pretty tight. Can he do a T1 move? He's going to be tight side by side going into T1. Breaking point about here. Jimmy's going to squeeze ahead. Close racing in the opening laps of a three-hour race. This is, of course, the 1966 Monza, not the modern layout. So just a long, long straight, completely full throttle all the way down. Breaking point about here. John to the inside. And is going to collect that. Jimmy looking up the inside on turn exit. Looks like John is going to hold at least for the moment. Swings out as wide as possible to maximize the exit. Jimmy is looking, though. Side by side. Jimmy with more straight line speed. Battle for sixth continues. All right, in GT, Jules, our... I almost said Hungarian Motorsports. Our Horizon Motorsports... Teammate Jules has just taken the lead of GT against Angelo Dos Santos. Jules and Angelo both very, very talented, very fast. And Angelo tucked right in behind on board with Angelo. Could not make a move into the first of the Lesmos. Now Cardenas has actually gone wide. Cardenas is in the uh, in the grass. 
John's gonna avoid. He's, uh... I think that was an unforced error, turn one. He will rejoin from the bushes. Probably taking a little bit of damage there. Now normally you'd see, oh, Yari now having a move. To the inside of the last turn. Is going to make that stick into the Parabolica. So close, so close, they touch. This is for third in prototype. Well, there is something horribly wrong with the setup. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm feeling really slow right now. Let's see if he goes for it. John's obviously not going to put up a fight if James has the pace, and obviously it's our teammates are not going to want to hold him up. James a little bit tight! Yeah, let's keep it together, though. We are teammates after all. We'll see how this goes. James will take the spot, so James up to so. James wide, 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 wide! James hit the wall! How big is the fuel tank? Uh, the full capacity? Yeah. Like. 225 or 35 something like that I got 151 right now no the whole thing feels weird but it's like um, I don't have top end the gears are wrong it feels like which uh, even that seems slow uh, compared to the other guys but well the 28 fastest I, I lap is 28 so, I, everyone's, it seems like a bit slower than that, because uh, most people's bests are low 29s. Okay. I wonder if it's the track. When you have a chance, can you open up the pit menu and verify the full tank capacity with the uh, pit lane screen? Uh, two, 223. Okay, car slow on the way down to Lesmos. John doing a nice job of splitting the GT traffic almost. James actually taking advantage of this. We're going splitting the GT leader, I believe. And James to the outside going down the last turn. John gonna hold it. Okay, the longest the tank can run is about a hundred minutes. 113, I'm sorry, 103 minutes. So unless you want to split the race into thirds, you're gonna have to do 80 minutes total. My uh, fuel mileage, by the way, is 2.9. Okay. So that also proves the point that it's something, something not right. I can't like put down full power. Yeah, the leaders are doing high 29s right now, which does seem a bit slow. The track conditions maybe is a little bit too green. I don't know. It's I don't think it's the grip levels of the track. It's it's the car. It's the setup. Seems like I'm losing 0.8 of a second or so every lap. Uh, Rickard going to the inside of Yari through Ascari. <laughs> Looking to the inside of the last turn. GT car might pay a, play a role here in the battle for second. Rickard! Trying to use the GT car as a pip. Oh man. That was tight. This is the battle for second, and right behind, this is a, basically a four-way battle for second. Uh, all, you know, um, five, four, three, two, all here in a row. And then John back in fifth. About 20 seconds back on this battle. Really not uh, having a good time with the car. Don't know if it's the setup, don't know if it's the track conditions, but it's not gelling right now as 
Rickard throws it down the inside of Yari into turn yeah, one. Yeah, okay, so the... Oh, three-way battle. Oh, Rickard. Cool, this three-way, three cars off. Track. Huge crash ahead. Right on the last turn, three cars involved. Turn? Okay. Three prototypes. Okay. But you should have a big gap. You're only uh, seven seconds behind fifth now. Yeah, it looks uh, looks tough right now. Um, but we can pit as early as the 80th minute if you want to swap early. Uh, are you going to be able to go to full distance? Yeah, the car can do um, 103 minutes, 104 minutes. Oh, Yari now to the inside of the last turn. See what Rickard can do to defend. He's going to be hanging around the outside. Can't quite do it. A little bit of a love tap. And the rear wheel spin up under power, under huge lateral loading. Tails kick out a little bit, and we continue. Yari into third. Rickard now fourth. Rickard does have a good run looking down the back straight. Got to tuck into the draft a little bit more. Oh, we we have a crash in uh, the last turn, actually. Is GT car involved there way off stage left. And Joe! Okay, crash in the last turn. They're off in the gravel trap. And that's Jimmy looking right there. I'm I sorry. see it. Yeah. Yeah, that's up to fifth. Did Jones crash with somebody or all by himself? Uh, I think there was a GT car involved, but all the prototypes are okay. And this is going to be interesting. Got three GT cars ahead. Yari through Ascari. I don't do that on purpose, I promise. Going to head to the inside, got to slam on the brakes a little bit not to hit those cars, and Rickard has caught up tremendously because of that. Does Rickard swing to the inside? That's That would be really, really tight. Jules looking at John Cook for second in GT. Whoops, wrong way. And is not going to get John cleared. They are going to go tight side by side. Jules touches the grass. Oh, Oh man, that was uh, that was tight. Unfortunately, Jules ending up in the gravel. Oh, Yari gonna go off! I'm kidding me. Oh man. Looks like John, Vincent as well. Yari's been beached. Third is beached on the last turn. Wow, we gotta do some repairs, unfortunately. Okay, just like uh, 12 more minutes. Let's see how it handles. Yeah, we gotta do the repairs. Yeah, we're like 1.5 to 2 seconds off pace. I mean, my compared to my previous pace, so got to do the repairs. So if we pit now, we can make the end with about 220-ish liters, or two. For, we can pit next lap if you want. Okay. Yeah, we should. What is that? Okay. So basically, you're gonna set your fuel to add 168. 168. Yeah, 168 okay, repair damage, just... and my name selected, and tires. Yeah, your name just selected. Alright, so you're ready? I'm ready. Uh, it's not too bad, 87 seconds. Is damage the main thing? Huh? Is damage the main thing, or is it... Yeah, damage the main thing, 87 seconds. Normally, okay. they should have taken 60 seconds. That's not too bad, 27 second repair, additional time. 
Okay, well, we'll see. I mean, depending on who gets in the car for the next... for the other two... two cars, you know. They might make mistakes or be slower on pace, so... Got a long oh, way Oh, yeah, to well, definitely. So it looks like Coney is going to pass you, but they didn't do a driver swap yet. Or pit stop yet. All right, all good in the back. All right, let's do this. Got 100 minutes to go. So what do you think? The gears are different, gearing? I think it's down on power a little bit, actually. Yeah, that's what I was feeling, too. like we have actually got up to fourth through the pit stop rotation something's happened to fifth place 74 seconds up to third but we are sitting in fourth we'll see how these uh second pairs of drivers how we all even out if there's any bits of uh pace advantage or consistency advantages we could start to bring this gap down still 83 minutes left to go Okay, so after the pit stops, all uh, top three leaders uh, came together there, same on the track, uh, following each other, and they are very close to you from behind, so they almost have a full lap to us. 77 second gap. It's gone from 84 seconds to 77 seconds to third. Don't know if it's the same car or not, but nevertheless, Need to be perfect if I'm going to make up that gap. So the top two are faster than you, but uh, P3 is slower. His last time was 132. Yeah, he did another 132.5, so you were two seconds faster than him last lap. Yeah, but I am getting tenths and tenths faster now um, with the fuel going down. Yeah, I got 69 seconds to uh, to third. So this is doable. Yeah, he's just entering Lesmos right now. But P2 just crashed and, and he's going into the pits. Okay, you should be able to pass him in the pits now. Still getting tires. All right, going into third. All right, cool. We got we got podium. That's kind of unbelievable. Looks like he just came out of the pits finally. So if we can keep it in the low 130s, we should be we should be able to do this. And he right there too. Okay, easy. Just uh, slowly holding P4. We started as like 60 second gap with 60 minutes to go. There's 35 minutes to go and we're at a 40 second gap, so should hold third spot at this ratio. Should be no problem, and we will bring this home on the podium. I almost followed this guy off. Oh, keep it together. Together. Whew, 35 minutes to go. Front left just went super sub. Oh, second retired. What? Oh, oh yeah, he yeah. did. He's in the garage. Wow. Wheels vibrating. I don't know what just happened. I don't know if I flat spotted the front left or what, but the wheels vibrating now on the straights. Yeah, it looks like a flat spot. It. All right, in a second. Oh, watch out. Okay. This keeps it interesting.
GT car. We are going to bring this home in second place. That is amazing considering how this race started. Driver, this is race control. I need your attention for just a minute. Uh, I want to remind you that there needs to be at least one driver swap during the race. Uh, anyone that does not do at least one driver swap, the car will be disqualified. That could be our leader too, because I didn't see David Hart in, in that car yet. Excuse me guys, did you have any problem doing your driver swap? Um, not at all. Okay. Look at these trees now, just getting this flicker effect going through the Lesmos and turn one. Alright, take a look at the trees through here, just flickering through the shadows. Non stop. <laughs> Keeps it interesting. And I can confirm actually. Rickard P1 did not do a driver swap, and you heard Doug say those who do not do a driver swap will be disqualified. There's five minutes to go. So our prototype leader has not done a driver swap. I'm in second. I got a 25 second gap to third with five minutes to go. We have done this. We have taken second at least. Oh, P1 has a red. P1 has a red red circle. Yeah, uh, David Hart is trying to get in. They're in the pits. We got one more lap, and then we'll be P1. We're looking okay on the fuel. Fuel's fine. Alright. Alright, time has expired. David Hart, P1, is now the new driver in that car. But he still has a red... Oh, pretty close to the GT car. Still has the red circle, which means the car is not classified. I don't know if we're taking second or we're taking first, but nevertheless, it's a good result seeing as we started in And eight. he's coming out of the last one, so we're just going to barely squeak this by, I think. Job is, uh, is off. Classified as first right now. Race is over. Is uh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Is that, <laughs> was, that, was that a flag? I got all the right. checkered. All right, cool. I'm classified. Twenty-three second gap. Wow, what a race! Twenty-two second gap final to uh, Norgan. He was extremely fast. Okay, tracks clear, guys. Congratulations. Oh, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy That's cow. Unbelievable. Just want to let you know uh, our next race was scheduled to be at Road America. We're actually going to be at Longford. Uh, Alex has told me today that he is doing a new update to Road America. So we will have it for the third race instead of the second race. So the next race, same date same time but it'll be Longford instead of Road America so I'll have the oh, server cool. up for that in the next day or two thanks again everybody and if you enjoyed yourself uh, pass along to everyone <sighs> it's gonna be um... user join your channel hey, it's oh that worked pretty well huh hey, John. 
it, it was good. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what was good was Troy getting first first position. That's unbelievable. What happened there? Great work, yeah. guys. It is the nature of the endurance racing. It is never over until it's over. Like hey, hey, hey sorry, David. David. Sorry to cut in. Um, the AI took over our car for some reason. Yeah, we did, I, I, we did a driver swap. It told me I had the car, and then the car took off on its own. The whole of that second stint was driven by an alien AI. Say what? The, the whole of the second stint where it said it was Rickard and he was laughing at stupid pace. 27. That, yeah, that was an AI. It was neither of us. Well, I think uh, the results file shows up shows us uh, SP1, so I'm happy. <laughs> no, you guys clearly won it. Absolutely won it. There's no doubt about it. Awesome.